Thank you for turning to page 121. Today we're going to take a look at some old friends that have been with me for a long time. Star Frontiers Minis. These are the starships. The player character set. And the robots. These are the only three sets I have. We're going to take a look at those. Some others I've picked up over the years. I'm not really sure where. And uh, my only Gamma World miniatures. I'll throw these in here just for grins. So today on page 121, we're going to be taking a look at Star Frontiers minis. Okay, first up, we're going to take a look at the Federation ships. There are six ships inside here. And here they are. As you see, I never really bothered assembling them. These are the little guns that would attach to the two bigger ones. Uh, I never really saw much use in uh, putting those on. I haven't used these on my tabletop because I had so many... Uh, we used the Traveler Chits. Uh, back in the day, I acquired these in the late 80s. And by then, I had some other ships from other sources. So I didn't really use these. But I do like their look. And just because I haven't used them doesn't mean I won't use them. So here we have the six ships that are featured on the box there. Let's see what the names of these guys are. Okay. This guy is a destroyer. This is a battleship. This is a freighter. This guy is a frigate. And these two are assault scouts. These pieces are simply the guns that would attach to the two bigger guys. And this is the base system they had. These were from the early 80s, from 83 for this set. So they had this little skinny wire, not much thicker than an ornament hook. And then you would break these, this apart, and you'd have an X base, and it would stand on there. Before much longer, we got the much better plastic uh, base system, and that's what I ended up using. So, I'll show you the back of the box. I'll pull this up a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's the back of the box. This set cost about $12. Like I said, I got it in the late 80s. Uh, I didn't really have them available for when I was uh, playing Star Frontiers. But we used uh, Traveler Markers primarily for Star Frontiers anyway. So that's the first look at the Federation ships. I'm going to pull out the player characters. We'll look at them next. Oh, before I, before I do, one thing I forgot. With the ships came the Star Frontiers rules and conversions to play Space Knights in a what amounted to be a bigger scale than what uh, Star Frontiers Nighthawks was published for. So this is kind of a neat little booklet that would help you convert, show you how to assemble the minis, and then just help you to convert these uh, the ships to whatever scale you would need. And then, of course, a protractor on the back. Why not? So kind of a neat little handout, especially in the 80s when we didn't have any internet. Uh, it was good to have that kind of informational resource at your fingertips. Next up, player characters. All right, the next batch we're looking at is the player characters set right there. And then these are all the guys you got in the box. So here they are. Up here, we have a Sathar with a weapon. We have Yazirian with lasers. We have a Dralosite with a weapon. We have Dralosite in a spacesuit. We have a woman explorer. We have a male explorer. We have a rocket guy. I'll lay him down. He's zooming up with his little rocket. Uh, we have... Where's my snake dude? Huh. I... Oh, I thought... Oh, here he is. Yeah. No. A uh, Sathar in spacesuit. I am not seeing here. I'll take a look. I did intermix some of these with my traveler stuff. So it's possible he's in one of those boxes. But you get the idea. The sculpts were pretty good on these, although time has not been their friend. As you see, some of these I never even bother cleaning the flashing off of. I like this guy quite a bit. And I kind of like this guy with the space and exhaust up his butt. The Dralocytes look pretty neat. I like the Azarian. These just nifty little figures from the 80s. This set was out in 83 also. Uh, I want to say this set and the uh, spaceships were $12 each. 
Here's some other miscellaneous that I've collected over the years. Not really sure where a lot of these guys came from. These guys here, the guys with the goofy little hair, those are, I believe, Vegapigmy Pygmy from Gamma World. And I think these guys are just barbarians from Gamma World. I'm not sure. And I don't really remember where I got some of these guys. And then I've got just various other miscellaneous... Oh, he goes over here. Miscellaneous uh, figures that I've picked up over the years. So as far as I know, a lot of these are Gamma World figures. I wasn't really able to identify them as I did the prep for this video. But those are the player characters. I thought the uh, ones put out by Grenadier for Traveler were actually cleaner sculpts. I liked them better, and actually the material's a little bit better. This material, as I handle it, is actually a little crumbly. This is actually flaking off in my hands. Now, some of that is age. Some of that's being kept in a brown cardboard box, which after this video I am going to take care of because they're deteriorating. A uh, the little acid from the inside of the box is uh, eating away at these guys. So these guys are going to get a new home. I'll keep the boxes, but they're going to get a new home. They're not going to stay in the box. Okay, so I've got one more set to take a look at, and that's the robots. Okay, here's the robot set. We got six robots in this set. I want to say this set was eight dollars. Might have been six. I don't remember. Uh, but it's a smaller set. So there's the six robots. And inside we have a service robot, a security robot, a maintenance robot, a tank bot, which is this guy, a hover bot. Oh, it's the household bot, and it's the hover bot. These were really kind of neat. I do use these uh, back when I was doing Silent, or uh, not Silent Death, uh, Star Frontiers. Uh, as you know, I haven't played it, Star Frontiers in a while, as I said in my first video. Uh, I did use these quite a bit, and I use these in Traveler as well. These are perfectly fine as Traveler robots. As you can see, the sculpt is good. These don't have the pitting problem that the player characters are having. These are from 1984, by the way. So these are still lead, but they're not pitting like the uh, player characters are. So, I like this set quite a bit. Uh, they're copyright 1983 TSRs, it says on the bottom there, but the box is 1984. So, there we go. Just some neat little robots. Uh, metallic robots, forget it. You couldn't find them. I've used these in Gamma World too, simply because uh, I'm sure there were robots for Gamma World, but I never really saw a lot of Gamma World figures around uh, when I was uh, busy with my lead collecting. So, anyway, there's uh, the three sets of Star Frontiers minis I own. There's quite a few other sets out there uh, that I have not collected, but that's okay. These are available. You can get them on eBay, and they're not real expensive. Uh, in fact, I'm actually toying with getting another set or two, and if I do, I'll show them off. So I'm just going to pull up for a higher shot. So there we have the three sets of Star Frontiers that I own. Uh, please, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe. If you have some Star Frontiers, uh, let me know about it. Star Frontiers minis, because I do like these minis. I, I do think the Grenadier sculpts were cleaner, but these are not bad. And they were certainly affordable for the time, and I'm very glad I have them. So that's all I've got for today for page 121. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments you want below, and I'll see you next time.